Bill Temple's love of guns started when he shot his first duck more than 60 years ago. You never forget that, no. There's all sorts of things you never forget. Your first girlfriend and your first duck, sure. <laughs> Temple hasn't missed the annual gun show in more than 30 years. It's an event that draws in more than 1,500 collectors and hunters from across the province. It's just nostalgia. I guess most of us guys my age would have been, grew up on a farm, would have probably had a firearm at one time or the other. And our dad shot it, taught us how to shoot firearms and how to hunt, fish, trap, do all those good things, and that's just a carryover of this. Dave Ostrizniak has been collecting guns for more than three decades. For him, it's the history behind each gun. You take 1800, something like this, it goes back to the Buffalo Bill days. They would use this for buffalo hunting, you know, and that sort of thing. And people find that intriguing. <laughs> and when you get them in this type of condition, it's just rare. It's an interest Ostrzniak thinks is on the decline. We feel within five to ten years, there will be no more gun shows. They will end. If you look around, look at the tables, you see very few younger people that are manning these tables. We even find by our sales every year, it goes down about 20 percent. But Temple is still holding out hope that the next generation will carry on gun collecting and hunting. My time has come and my time is gone, but my boys are still hunters and that, and so I've passed that on to them. And it's a passion he hopes will serve them well. It's just been a lifetime for me, a lifetime of, of enjoyable events. Jules Knox, Global News.